What makes this reflect even worse on Starmer is that even the Tories have made a better fist of their response. Not that that is saying a lot. I'm not talking about Sunak here either, who also went down the thoughts and prayers route. Literally the PM who has it within his power to do something meaningful about this and change the UK's position when it comes to Israel. Starmer isn't in that position. Although disbanding Labour Friends of Israel would be a good start. <laughs> what am I saying? David Cameron, though, did at least do something. Contacting his Israeli opposite number. Apparently he did also drag the Israeli ambassador in, so I'm told. Although other sources are saying Sunak did this. Neither of them, though, sadly, did what they needed to do, should have done, which was to put her butt on a plane back to Israel. Caveat I'd put on all of this, though, is Tories being honest is not something I'll ever take at face value. And with Cameron's background in PR, no matter what he's saying he's been doing on Twitter, he knows what to say and when to say it and how to say it, even if it might just be a lot of hot air.